Overseas now and former US Vice President Mike Pence is expected to announce he's running for president next week. Donald Trump's former deputy joins an increasingly crowded field of Republican challengers. Let's go to our Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen. She's live now. Annalise, uh, good afternoon where you are. Could Mike Pence be the next president of the United States? Well, look, you have to say never, say never in these political races, but he certainly has a tough hill to climb. Former Vice President Mike Pence is expected to announce he's running for president at an event in Iowa next week. Iowa is first in the country for Republican primaries, and this is going to be the big issue for them, is making sure Mike Pence can win over that base. It's going to be difficult. As the former deputy to Donald Trump, he isolated himself from a lot of Donald Trump's devoted supporters by certifying the 2020 election result on January 6. He still faces the wrath of Donald Trump, who is leading in all the polls, and he's joining a very crowded field. If we look at just the number of declared candidates, Donald Trump is still leading all the major polls. Ron DeSantis has now formally entered the race. The Florida governor, he's coming up next closest. We have Nikki Haley and Tim Scott, but it is going to be almost double this field quite likely by the time the first debate is held. In August of this year, the Republican National Committee hasn't said what kind of parameters they're going to be putting on to decide who gets to take a spot on that debate stage. We still mm. don't know whether Donald Trump is even going to take that debate stage, but this yeah. does certainly add a new element to a very tightly run race. No, and, uh, and Chris Christie announcing a run too, as well, I notice uh, today, Annalise. I mean, uh, uh, just going through some of those names and faces, I mean, you can just chalk a few of them off, including Chris Christie, straight away. <laughs> well, I mean, people said that about Donald Trump in 2015. That so I wouldn't, is true. <laughs> I, I wouldn't that be too quick true. to write anyone off just yet. And one of the differences we're going to see this time is Donald Trump kind of owned that space that no one else was fighting for. Now everyone's fighting for the Donald Trump space. And so yeah. there is room for someone to come up the side, run their own race, do it a bit differently. And everyone is trying to do it a bit differently. We've got Twitter spaces and then Mike Pence is going to be doing a CNN town hall right after his speech. Mm. So he's obviously trying to pick up some new voters. Yeah, some new voters. Good way to put it. Thanks, Annalise. Talk to you soon.